Hey there YouTube, I'm Ikitsu, this is the Ikitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome to a little bit of Endless Space 2. So today we're going to be talking about Sophons. Not my favorite faction and not really my particular style, but uh, in any event, we've got this still on Endless Difficulty. Um, this is a faction that I am not necessarily uh, that great with. They're a very standard faction despite that. Um, their bonuses lean towards science, they haven't really got anything else going for them, and science is actually a really key thing in these sorts of games. Um, and the way that you sort of play them is to ignore science to a certain degree, which is kind of weird, I know, but what you really need to focus on in the early game is getting your production up. So they're a bit of a counterintuitive faction, and that sort of throws me off uh, when I play these guys sometimes. Also, I tend to prefer more militant type factions, and these guys are one of the furthest out there away from being overly militant. So you're generally speaking going to be playing a very turtley style with these guys. You're going to be focusing on internal development and hopefully not getting into too many fights. They can defend themselves, but you really are hoping that you can uh, get away with not having to. Uh, their ships are just not the best designs out there, and they're really bad at ground invasions. Um, so generally speaking, I, I would say this is a faction for um, more or less a kind of turtley style Master and turtley gameplay. Sense. So let's take a look at your start here. Um, in this particular case, so we've got ourselves another colonizable world, so not too bad there. We've got ourselves our homeworld of Hekim. It's a boreal world which is cold and fertile, and this is what you always start off with with these guys, and this is actually an interesting and uh, decent start for them. I'm going to queue up the drone networks here right away, and we're going to take a look at the victories that are available to us here. So the Wonder Victory, these guys have no particular great advantage to getting the Wonder Victory. They do get the science a little bit faster, but they don't get the resources any better than other factions, really. Um, and they don't build the buildings any faster than anyone else, so you're not really going to want a gun for this necessarily. Um, there are certain situations where maybe that's what you want to do because it can be a little bit faster than science in some conditions, but reasonably speaking, it's going to not be your favorite victory type. Economy, you've got no bonuses to your economy. There's nothing in particular special that's allowing you to race to that. So under a lot of circumstances, if you are trying to do an economy race, you will lose out on that to other uh, factions. Um, not to say you can't go for that. It is still one of the easier victory conditions to sort of reach for, but it is still one of the ones that you're not necessarily going to be getting that quickly. Science, you've got every advantage in the world as far as this goes. There's not really too many excuses if you manage to lose a science victory um, if you've got it set to science only for some reason. But um, if you're in a standard game, this is going to be something that you have to sort of struggle for just because you have to really defend yourself while you're trying to go for the science victory, and that can really slow you down. Conquest and Supremacy, like I said, you're actually kind of bad at this thanks to the Feeble Warriors thing, and you're bad ship designs. The Sophons, in my opinion, have pretty weak ship designs all around, so you're typically speaking going to be stuck going for that science victory unless you get to the point where you're like, why, why the hell are you watching a guide from someone like me? Anyway, um, one of the other things we're going to do right away is activate Dirty Hands Act. It's going to reduce the cost of our buildings by 10% make it a little bit easier for us to build things. It doesn't actually help right now. This is a building, but we'll have a little bit more spillover as a result of this, which helps a little bit. We're going to take our general, our hero or whatever, and we're going to assign him to a fleet on our home planet, and we're going to go ahead and modify his ship. That was not what I intended to do there. There we go. And what we're going to do is drop in an extra two of these... Um, scanning modules and we're going to go ahead and increase our warp drive up to basic warp drive. It's going to cost us all our money and that's perfectly fine. We're not really doing anything else with it for a little while. And for our research, this is what makes the cold boreal planet so good. We start off with the Mega Indie Consultancy which gives us plus 10 production on cold planets which um, is a little bit better than the Xeno Linguistics uh, whatever. Um, this is going to be our first tech always. Now, unfortunately, our science building does not start with that, but uh, we do have the fact that our Sophon little buddies here do gain that bonus uh, on cold planets, and that's sort of the gimmick of them. They gain a lot more on cold type planets there. Um, we also do want to get one of these uh, other planets online here, but for now, it's going to be the Atoll, which is going to be uh, quite nice there. Now, strictly speaking, um, Hekim and the uh, Boreal world here is a little bit weaker than the Atoll world that we're going to be able to get later, so this is going to be something that we sort of prioritize. Now then, let's go ahead and grab our ships here. And we've got three places to explore too, so in this particular case we're going to go ahead and launch a probe down that way. I'm going to go ahead and send my not that down this way. See if we can find somewhere colonizable right off the bat here. Yes, we can. Okay, cool. So 
actually going to have this guy head down this way. And we're going to have you figure out which of these worlds is most habitable for the time being. We've got lots of atolls, which is actually quite good, but I would actually kind of like going for the boreal. Actually, no, the atoll is much, much better right now, just because having the atoll is going to be... Um, it's going to be a little bit stronger, uh, just in terms of how fast it becomes a uh, colony. I think this is faster than the jungle. I cannot remember, um, because this doesn't really tell me a whole hell of a lot for how much the food actual production is. Um, and food production is how you determine how fast colonies happen. Um, so I think this is going to be our best bet. All right, cool. So that happened quite quickly. Um, it's going to be a little while before that comes online, so we'll just sort of leave that be. I'm going to want to scan the planet that we're inhabiting, as well as the other habitable ones nearby. Now, this planet is going to be offline for a long-ass time, but, um, ooh, another habitable set. Okay. And a minor faction down here. Interesting. All right. So, since we're colonizing this one, let's check out that one first, even though atmospherics are usually negative. I don't know why... Garden of Eden. Ooh, nope. I've gotten a really great planet here. Okay, so continue on, I think. Just a little bit. And the minor faction means that we might want to learn how to interact with them a little bit earlier than I normally would. Did I screw up something here? Why does... Uh, Normally I only have two of that, so something must have happened. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and check out what's going on over here. These guys, okay. I'm going to actually head up to Phagis first, and I'm going to start scanning that down. The reason I'm doing that is because I kind of want to gain the experience on this guy as quickly as possible, and I want to wait until I've got access to off-world agribusiness before I actually talk to these guys. Now let's just check, the, what, what is this actually... Plus five for curiosity discovered. Actually, that can be a huge amount of dust, and that sort of compensates for the fact that I tend not to have a ton of dust with these guys. So that's going to help out a bit. And also, just it's uh, in my corner of the galaxy, and there's not a whole lot else outside of that. So it's a pretty decent uh, way for me to go. I'm hoping that I'm actually fairly cut off from the rest of the galaxy here. So Because, again, we kind of want to be turtling here. So this could be actually a good turtle point here. Just fortify this world set here. A tiny forest, a tiny monsoon. Let's get this monsoon checked out. Hello? What have we got here? Red Sang. A lot of Red Sang. It's not my favorite of resources, honestly. Alright, a Terran world here. Two Terran worlds. And a Steps. Okay, this is actually looking pretty interesting. Let's check the life form here. Red Sang. Okay, um, it's going to be two turns. In two turns, I'll have four. How many scans are there down here? There's three scans, so I can do one more up here and then head back down. Don't want to use all three, though. All right. We head down there and just see if that's another sort of choke point planet that I could potentially make use of. Um, I feel kind of like I actually want to go straight to colony ships in this particular instance here. So this is your first quest chain. It's fairly loosey as to loosey goosey as to what you sort of do here. Um, what you pick now doesn't boldly doesn't majorly affect what you're picking later. So militarize here, win three battles, it's going to be against pirates, use and lose ships is the benefit there, minus 15% ship cost on systems, very very powerful ability no matter what there, inspire. I find that this doesn't synergize too well with what you're doing with the Sofons, it makes you really good at exploration, but deep exploration is not really rewarded or necessary in this game. Um, also, you don't want to put this on scouts, because the vision range doesn't really help that much unless you're, you're using scouts. And you can just layer a scout underneath a fleet, so I don't find the Sofon free moves too necessary. Um, socialize here, raise your relationship with a minor civilization to 90 or higher. Um, on other difficulties and in certain circumstances, like you're next to a whole bunch of minor civilizations and the Kisho, for example, this is actually really powerful. Um, and on lower difficulties, it's also really powerful. 
the fact that you can sort of just focus on one, get it up to 90 really quickly, and then take it over means that you can start taking over all of the other minor factions really cheaply, because um, minus 30% cost on that is actually quite good. But uh, on this difficulty, once you got the one faction up to the 90, uh, what's going to happen is that all the other ones are probably going to get taken, so you're not actually going to get access to a whole bunch of other ones anyway, since the AI is pretty on top of getting that. You have to be near AI that are not going to go for the minor factions. Um, we're going to go with Militarize just because it's the most consistent. It's probably what you're going to take pretty much every game. Um, now, I think we're just going to drop in an Incubator here. Oh, yeah, Lyra here looks like a pretty decent place to try and set up shop as well. So, we would need Desert Ash or Gas. So, what we're looking for is sort of where the choke point ends and where we end up with a uh, damn. Uh, where we end up with a planet that sort of spreads out so that we can sort of use that planet to sort of block other people's progress into our systems which could be defined as this sort of area here potentially depending on what we've got around here this is right next to some capital of course it's not going to be that clean but uh all right so what i want here um i just double check down here it's desert right desert or ash you know what ash is probably actually easier for me so get atmospheric filtration Oops. God damn it. And um, we'll layer plasma metallurgy right after that just because I need that as well. All right, so that'll get me the ability to get something down there. Have you check that out. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, so since they're getting a natural plus one, I guess um, we'll go back up here for a little bit here. Get the Mega Indie Consultancy and then the Atoll up here. Definitely going to be banking this guy at Governor. The only skills that this guy has are the Burning Light and the uh, Celestial Mechanics that make him a decent fleet general. Everything else is really not that good, so you're definitely going to want to use this person as a Governor. Um, if you need generals or fleets, uh, admirals or whatever, uh, you, you've really got better things that you can do than getting this guy to do it. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to send this all the way down to Lyra, our colony ship. Or probably Curus actually might be smarter. Hmm, not too sure actually. Okay, I'm just going to wait a few turns over here just to use up our scans. But um, in fact, I'm going to do all four. And uh, once I've got my scans back, once I've got three scans back, we'll see how much um, I've got left for uh, influence there. Because you want to dump as much influence as you can onto a minor faction and then do the scans on them. So if I do it properly, in fact, I might even go to my core planet or home planet here. I should have actually done this earlier. I should have abolished Dirty Hands Act. Um, the reason I'm abolishing that is because we're building ships right now and I don't get a bonus to building ships. So here we go. Okay, so... I'm either going to try and rush towards Cancer. Looks like he's going to get it, though. Yeah, realistically speaking, I have no hope of getting this one. Uh, do I go for another signal? I think I will, even though I failed a bunch of them lately. Ooh, nice. Okay. So, yeah, I think that we're, we're going to have to rush to Lyra. Um, now, these guys are kind of peaceful. And you know what? Maybe I actually do colonize this. I'm pretty sure that this is their colony ship, though. Yeah, that's a vine ship. Okay, so they're they're pulling this into their realm already. Um, probably get that atoll. That's fine. Okay, so this defines my borders. Lyra is as far as mine goes, um, and I'm gonna have everything that's in here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six planets. That's actually that's actually pretty decent. It's not great. I would like to have more, but um, I can always push out, or I can try and find uh, plants that are just on random nodes. But it is nice, we're by the Unfallen, they are, generally speaking, fairly peaceful. So I'm not too, too worried about them coming around and just beating me uh, senseless for no good reason. Which is a nice thing if you're trying to do sort of a camp thing. Now the thing about them is that they're actually more defensive, but they don't have any bonuses. So, like, you'll be able to get yourself uh, into a safe position as the Unfallen really easily. 
problem is that you don't don't have the ability to outrace another person um, to a victory condition. So I'll be able to get my uh, science victory before they can get any type of victory really in particular, which is bad for them. So science, it's pretty bad. It's not getting uh, not getting good finds here. All right. I don't care enough to get the quest that's going to come up later. It's just really not in my uh, interest right now. And I'm going to send this guy back down to Bracia. I can't remember what the second tier version of, uh, or the second cost is, so let's see here. After that, and that we'll get Planetary Landscaping as our next tech. Uh, how are we doing over here? Eight more turns? Okay. One of the things I might want to do is land someone down on Lyra and then uh, spend the money to get that boosted, hopefully before this thing finishes, um, because if I get there before it finishes, the cost won't go up. Okay. So do I want to risk trying to get to Cancer? Probably not. I really don't think that would be in my best interest right now. Oh, and I should be reducing the cost of this stuff here. I kind of want to get a little bit more of this, though. I don't think I can get enough uh, fast enough for it to matter, though, so I think we might as well reenact Dirty Hands Act here. Turning it on and off is one of those things I need to do more often and uh, remember to do more reg regularly, but... All right, praise. Yeah, that's about as much as I was going to get realistically. Oops, I was supposed to wait till I had three, and I only have two. That's fine, we'll just be off by one. These sort of minor mistakes don't matter in this particular case. Like, I would be a lot more careful if I was adjacent to someone, but there's no one else that's going to become friends with these guys, so it really doesn't matter what happens as far as that goes. Go ahead and grab the uh, last point of that next turn. More runes that still have not given me any weapons. Goddamn game. Nope. Damn you all. Alright. Pirates on Curus, okay. That's actually not that bad. Um, that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> Alright, so. Game is just trying to figure out how could we make this worse for this player. That's uh, what we're trying to aim for here. Anyway, um, I'll probably send around my scouts and my, uh, my general to check out Curus here. I really feel like I want to do the sprint to Cancer. Now what the hell. You only live once as they say. I was hoping that a pirate would spawn there because that would sort of stop things from happening there, but was not to be. Anyway. So this should be going up by like six or something like that. And uh, we just got a little bit of not perfect timing there, but uh, it should be okay. All right. Should have our colony up and running, unfortunately, by now. Um, yeah, I really should have just stayed at Lyra. It would have made a lot more sense. Oh, well, this will stop my food from being as bad as it could be. So, managed to intercept the Prowler here over at uh, Curus. Gonna smash it with my uh, scout hero combination, and we're just gonna start sieging this place down a little bit here until I can get a proper warship down here to do this a little bit better. Because the guys I've got on this right now are absolutely trash at this. Anyway. Okay, so start off with the drone networks move on to the cerebral after that we're going to be able to go indie public actually just do indie i think first and then colonize the other atoll the boreal it's going to be a long wait for that, all that to finish but uh i think that's going to be pretty pretty damn good at that point in time um for us here 
with the cerebral just because I'm worried about my money going down too fast. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm going to have to revert the game. I don't feel bad about like safe scumming a little bit in this game. Like random ass shit just happens and it screws you over really badly in this game. Alright, up to Cordial. It's going to get us a little bit of money. Let's go to the Atoll. Now, I feel as though we're going to get screwed over here. I'm going to spend the money to make this happen faster. But uh, I feel like this is going to be a bad... Oh, this, this is going to be so bad. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're still colonizing. Um, so that's good, I guess. I'm not 100% sure what the mechanics for this are right now. I cannot remember off the top of my head right now what the uh, problem I'm going to have with this is. I think they can culture split me later. <laughs> uh, well. We're at plus three money here. I need, yeah, I need more money. Someone else found the uh, academy. That's fine, though. All right. So after this rebirth reality and we've got a second planet here, things are going to be getting produced a lot faster. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new ship here. Just gonna call it a prod. This is gonna be our basic war uh, scout thing here. It's not gonna be anything too impressive, but um, actually there's some stuff I needed to tech to before I really did that. Shit. Yeah, I need to get access to um, focus plasma and autonomous construction, ideally. Now, do I actually wanna do that in this particular case though? The reason I'm doing this is because this will unlock a higher tier weapon for us. And it will also get us the Focus Plasma Titanium A2S Slugs, which are really important for getting rid of those pirates faster. I think we can do it. I think we can do it, because we'll be able to take out one more set of pirates uh, with the uh, stuff that we have here, and that's still fine. So I think that's okay. Alright, where are you? Hopefully he finds something nice here. I'm guessing he's uh, scouting there. Alright, so once we get a little bit more time, I'm going to send my general back to Oshie and have him scout that out for me. But I do need something supporting my dude here to make sure he doesn't get blown up here. Alright, our science went up, so Focus Plasma is a little bit faster now. Um, we're going to go ahead and get public-private partnership there. Two turns, and that'll hopefully also increase our speed on our science by quite a lot. Looks like they're not able to block my uh, progress there all that well, so we're still chugging forward there. And our money is no longer as much of a problem, so this is all looking pretty okay. Amicable, okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Thagis, that one. Hmm. I will have to deal with that later. I do actually also really want to get more colony ships. I, I need one, two. I only need two more. Hmm. What I might want to do is get a proper, just normal scout right now. I kind of want to do that. I kind of don't. We'll just do incubator. I could also work on endless uh, research, but the AI actually gets that really quickly in uh, in endless difficulty, so it's unlikely I'll be able to pull that off. I'm gonna go ahead and keep supporting the scientists. I want to have access to those abilities. There, it looks like they'll lose anyhow. They are lost viciously. Holy crap! All right, well, we have the industrialist in charge now, which is not the worst thing in the world, but it is going to make my science a little bit wonky. Um, mostly in that, I just lost the text that I was researching. Okay, so we still got um, the one thing. So this is not great. We still have Dirty Hand Deck, thankfully, since we just barely kept that. I could enact a new colony um, as well, but I think we're going to leave that out for now. Uh, I'm going to have to get Enway Fusion so that I can get access to those texts that I wanted there. Um, Alright, so, sustainable farms, just going to grab those. 
activate this guy and send him off down to Pajas. Pajas? I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Actually, is that going to cause that to fail? I don't think that is. I should probably go for the uh, Lyra first, though, anyway. Right, three more turns for this thing. Can't believe I lost my scientists. Oh, that sucks. So that's just ugh. All right. Just randomly Harshems. That's fine. I greet you in the name. Of Where the hell? Oh. That's unfortunate. Those guys are much more violent than the uh, Unfallen. The Unfallen are usually quite peaceful, but um, quite diplomatic. They can be quite violent, but usually they're not. All right. So we go back to Thomas Construction, finish that off there. That'll get us access to better weapons. Let's work on Interplanetary Transport Network, get that production up. Like I said, the most important thing is production. How are we doing here anyway? Three more turns for Prot's Colony? That's actually not bad at all. Those vines seem to have disappeared. And here we go, pirates. Not my favorite people in the world, really. Let's go ahead and fight there. We actually want one more pirate to spawn, so this is going along pretty nicely. I might have to unfortunately send the detector home instead of my other guy, though. Which is not really what I want to have happen there. I guess I just have to make sure I've got a uh, ship there before that timer runs out. Alright. Go for the science there, even though it's not very much of it. And... Yeah, one more turn. Alright. Should be a colony fairly soon here. I'm sort of doing these one at a time, which is not the ideal way. Well, it kind of is, but it's pluses and minuses to doing one colony at a time. All right. So we should have access to some better weapons. This could have gone a lot smoother, but whatever. We go ahead and pick missiles in this case, and a Titanium S and this thing. This is going to be a fairly slow ship, but the Sophons actually have naturally faster ships, so this isn't actually that big a deal. I'm going to go ahead and grab multi-thread management as well, just so I can get access to some uh, stuff there. I might have to go for a Red Sang build here, which I really don't like, but is what we have. Let's start building some prods here, and looks like we can colonize right away. All right, perfect. It's an Ash World. This is going to take us a while. Fine ship? No. Question. Okay, good. You know, I could actually build a regular old detector and send it down to Phagis. That would actually be really quite useful right now. You don't necessarily want to build too many prods either, just because they don't actually uh, do too, too much in terms of health um, once you really need real combat ships, and you can't upgrade them into anything. You can sell them, though. All right, we got our cancer colony. That's great. Get us loaded up with the basics. I could try to kill this guy, but there's no point in it, and he'd probably actually win. Yeah, I think I'm going to have three of these guys as a pretty decent fleet. Right, um, start working on neural robotics. That'll get us a lot of extra production. I might also want to go for extreme atmospherics. We did have some um, gas giants around, I think. Yeah, I need to get this place colonized as well. You're one of our favorite fish. 
Okay. So yeah, I would like to take those guys over because they would give me extra ships. Which would be quite nice and not having to actually get a bunch of extra ships right now. Um, get our quest done here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so Bracia now ours. Population for some reason of just one, which is a bit odd, but um, whatever. And that does actually put us in a much stronger spot than we were before, just in terms of uh, military. Alright, down here. This place is actually fairly well developed. Oh no, never mind. There, there we go. Um, let's see here. It's a jungle, it's hot and fertile. Uh, the steps would be temperate. This is kind of a mixed bag here. Oh, we've got a gas planet uh, that these guys colonized for us. That's with friendly locals. Hmm. Interesting. It's got plus, plus one population slot, so it's actually got two whole population slots. That's really, really generous of you guys. Alright. Well, whatever. Um, I think all the plants down here just colonized right away. It's kind of working out really grossly well, actually. Oh, and we got the first uh, first colonization to reach eight planets. That's kind of surprising. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that, then public-private, and then sustainable food. So this is going to be a really bolstered start here. All right. So I can get this guy separated out. Have him sent up this way. Try not to send everyone else a long way. Um, get this detector down to Bracia for healing. Alright, cool. And from here, I don't necessarily need this many prods because I just got those other ships that... Uh, going to have available, so I do still want to have uh, it on the way, but we'll go ahead and grab the infant supermarkets in the way there. Um, I really feel like this is not likely to happen, so I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, this could be quite good, though. I think I need to learn how to colonize snow planets, though, instead. Alright. This system here, we've got more plants than we have people. <laughs> uh, good. Alright, so we've kind of really quickly gotten to the point where we have, like, our sort of initial setup here, basically. Alright, I need to speed this up a bit. Why can't I? Oh, I've already. Did I already? Shit. Those guys are gonna steal all of my uh, scans there, aren't they? Alright. Well, that's not a huge deal. Alright. Send this guy down to Fagis just before anyone else can grab that, and then we'll have Curus, and then we'll have our borders. That'll basically be as far as we're realistically gonna go. bad, really. Okay. I think I got them all before they could get any of them. Perfect. Okay. Imperium, Kaoshems, Super Spuds. Okay, so this could potentially go poorly. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to do this with the hero ships, but, um, there's no real reason to do that with the hero ship. Let's just bring this guy up there. I think this just randomly kills your ship, so let's go ahead and get rid of him. Send him down to here to be governor. Get this plant up and running a little bit faster. Now then, I need... There's a lot of things I need. Hmm. Alright.
doing really well on cash somehow, which is nice. It's a difference for me. Yeah, someone else got the endless research part like basically immediately. We found the Riftborn. That's not actually that pleasant. They're quite violent. Quite a lot of the games I've played. But uh, yeah, let's go with this one here. The 17 bridge, uh, Thou Thousand Island Bridge is really, really good, and the Red Sang is going to make it come up quite nicely. So all this is quite good. And down here, we potentially just lose a scout ship, but who cares? Calamity. Hopefully just destroy again. All right. It happens. Um, anyway. I'm considering in this instance getting the ability to see the uh, wormholes as well. But it's not a huge deal yet. Um, yeah, let's grab intensive cultivation here. that way. Over here. Planetary. This isn't going to be great. This only really helps on this one planet here. But should be fine. actually really quite bad, because I don't think we've got more than one. Oh no, we have got more than one. Okay, okay. That's relatively okay then. The reason that this is happening is because we've got um, negative food from all of that stuff. This is why I'm building the intensive cultivation. Um, I wish I could build that faster though. Actually, I wonder, is there... What's the difference in food production here? actually. I think we're going to have to do this temporarily. So it's just avoid our population from crashing too hard. It looks like it's still going to happen. Great. Hmm. Minus 48 is what our food is at. That's lovely. Um, it is because I'm doing two colonies at once there, which is my bad, but uh, happens. Anyway, yep. um, yeah, definitely do make it in the then these things. All right, so there's some pirates down here that have not opted to attack me. That's kind of interesting, or did they just spawn? Yeah, population went down there. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Okay. What do these guys have for weapons here? It looks like a mix. Okay. Prowler, I think, also is just pure energy. Yep. Okay. There we go. User lose ships. New objective. Gain 3% militarism. That one's actually a little bit tricky. It takes a lot of time to do it, but... We'll sort of get there in the end, I think. All right, more production. This one will take a lot longer to deplete, so that's probably relatively okay. Um, how are things going on down here? Let's control more turns. Down here, it's going to be nine more turns. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen my population drain this quickly just from two colonies. Anyway, um, I probably should actually have uh, sped up the Fadgets one as well, but it's probably okay. Once I get that uh, upgrade there, it should be fine-ish. 
Hopefully in atmospherics as well, we'll be able to do Red Sang. He can't secure the enemy ships yet. <laughs> Thanks, game. That's, uh... I was sort of looking at that, it's like, yeah, it's not happening. I've never seen that one fail, though, the literal instant that it started, though. Like, that's kind of new. Uh, anyway. So I should, in one turn... Oh, I can already do it. Shit. Okay. So, red saying here, um, plus 60 food. So what I can do, actually, is just uh, pop this in. And that's going to make my population just sort of like spiral in a way that is not necessarily all that pleasant for me in the long run, but um, it works. There we go. Should have positive food now again. Alright, we didn't lose our pilgrims, good. Because they're actually quite a decent bonus there. Anyway, um... So that gets us access to not a whole lot that we need right now. I want baryonic shielding for the scans. Uh, I don't need happiness right now, so we're going to go with uh, experience. Okay, what else is happening? Well, that's just about defeated, so we can sort of focus on more of that in a bit. It's only three more turns. It's actually going to be less than that. Actually, it might be more than that, because I think we're running out of the boost pretty soon. Um, so, what I probably want to do, actually, is weave in my last incubator here. It's going to go down to the planet over here, and we're going to colonize that as soon as we take it out, so that no one else has a chance to drop a colony on it or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, this is our setup here. It's a pretty okay start. Like, I really am happy with the way things have gone in this particular run so far. We sort of got a good way to sort of get our science up and running. That's going to be pretty grotesque in a while here. We're going to go ahead and just start focusing a little bit on militarism, just to make sure that we're safe. But um, I think we can focus pretty heavily on two Kagros on Cancer. Wow, that's going to be a big boost to this place. Um, but yeah, like we're, we're doing fine. Like Things are going along quite well in, in a lot of respects there. Uh, I'm going to move this up this way here. Ten turns, wow. Um, sure, that's fine. So, yeah, uh, anyway, I hope you found this episode enjoyable. I know that I found this one to go a lot smoother than I thought it was going to, honestly. The Sophons can have a really rough time, depending on who they're next to, so this one's actually quite lucky. Um, if you find yourself near more militant things than the Unfallen, the Unfallen are just about the least militant things out there, um, you are going to need to think about military a lot earlier, but for me that didn't happen. Uh, if you do have to do that, it's going to be a lot, it's going to be a tough game. Like, the, there's not a ton you can do to counter people who can produce things quickly and then swarm you with them, um, as the Sophons. Like, your tech advantage doesn't really pull it, your, doesn't really pull into play until later. Because even if I try to skip techs and go for higher tier stuff, like, um, I can, I, with, with the scientific perk, I could, like, be skipping to these technologies here, um, if I had access to that right now. Um, but it's not a huge bonus in terms of getting things that you need. Um, so anyway, I hope you found this episode enjoyable, and of course, as always, I hope to see you guys all next time.